Anderson County leaders are looking to make changes to the county's emergency medical services system. A study found some major flaws with the current system. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith is joining us live from the county building where a special meeting was held tonight. Nikkel. Well, Tom and Amy, that meeting lasted about two hours inside the council chambers here, and this is what it was all about. A study that says Anderson County's EMS system needs an overall. We have a lot of faults. Uh, with our EMS system. Tonight, a special called meeting was convened to address an issue Anderson County has grappled with for years. We can make it better. Concerns with the area's emergency medical services. A consulting firm hired by the county revealed major flaws, like the nearest ambulance may not be sent to emergencies. All I know is that when I call, I want somebody there who's going to take care of Gracie Floyd and the rest of the people in Anderson County. The study also found that officials don't have a way to accurately track response times. Get it. Very important to listen to them but who's been involved in our system. The room had a number of stakeholders, including emergency medical service providers from throughout Anderson County. I think we really have a tough road ahead of us. Including Greg Shore from MedShore, which covers about 60% of the county. There's a lot of misinformation in the study. Also agreeing that the study had flaws of its own, Dr. Thomas Kickham from ANMED. They're using a lot of buzzwords about the nationally accepted standards and stuff like that. There is no nationally accepted standards that have been proven with studies. Still, Shore says some good can come from what the study found, like changing to one central system for the whole county. He says MedSure has already made changes to improve care. We are uh, working with our employees to let them know over the next 120 days that the 24-hour shifts will go away, and they'll be working uh, 8, 10, and 12-hour shifts. County leaders say this is just the beginning of their efforts to improve the EMS system. They say meetings like the one that was held here tonight are going to have to be held again in the future. Live in the Anderson County, Nikhil Smith, 7 News.